so I was having troubles at putting in phase a lot of transformers put cascaded or working in tandem, especially for like a vacuum tube Tesla coil. And uh, guessing the phase out of the secondary of a transformer is sometimes not too easy to do because uh, maybe you can't see much the orientation of the windings. And I could use a scope, but uh, using a scope is risky, especially when using things like these. <laughs> and uh, it's not the best approach ever. Or you can do trial and error, but that's a bad idea. So I thought of making a device, an electronic tool that is synced with mains, so you don't need an external source for the uh, horizontal sync. And uh, this thing has uh, nine LEDs that will turn on with a positive half wave and stay off with a negative half wave from an AC source. And this thing is some sort of oscilloscope because it scans horizontally like an oscilloscope. And instead of displaying an uh, height, an amplitude of voltage, it just turns on the LEDs according to the uh, polarity of the voltage. And here it is, the Transformer Phasing Visualizer. This thing uh, works down to like 4 volts AC, up to these voltages, without problems. It can probe also uh, voltage steppers, voltage doublers, you know, the circuit of a micro oven. And uh, with a bit of head scratching also with uh, staccato controllers. And it works like this. Now it's on. You can see the LEDs uh, scanning a bit, uh, leaking a bit of current, but they are not turned on. And you can test it on itself because you already have live and neutral on the transformer coming from mains. And I insulated it uh, this way with these uh, tubes here. Anyways, if I connect the uh, cold probe, this is the cold probe alligator on neutral and the hot probe, a multimeter style probe that I made on live. Okay, you see the LED is turning on this way. And uh, sorry, because there's a camera sync effect. You see the scan, but I don't, because I see it flickering at 25 Hz. This thing scans at 25 Hz, but I don't see the scan. The LEDs are kind of steady. Uh, you can only see the 25 Hz, but not the scan. So sorry, I can't fix this. Anyways, uh, you see these LEDs turned on. This is the positive half wave. These ones that are turned off, this is the negative half wave. And there's also another bit of another positive half wave because this thing uh, visualizes more than a full wave, like uh, 2.5 half waves, like an oscilloscope that can visualize more than uh, a single wave uh, and a train of waves it can visualize. Anyways, if I uh, reverse the probes, like this. Oh, come on. Okay. Now it's reversed because the first LEDs are off. Uh, these ones are on because the polarity, the phase is reversed at, at 180 degrees. And the last LED is also off. And the only requirement is that you have to connect it correctly on mains because this circuit must know the phasing of the live terminal. In fact, I marked its plug with the word phase, that means live. And to find the live in on mains, it's easy. You just need to use this cooler. Anyways, about this selector here, 350 volts and 500 volts. This is the threshold voltage that will turn on the LEDs. When put at free, uh, you just need a minimum voltage for turning on the LEDs. And it's like 4 volts, 6 volts. So you can uh, probe low voltage transformers. At 50 volts, it's suitable for like uh, uh, mains level voltages. And uh, 500 volts is for high voltages. Okay, now let's try this thing. Now we have a real transformer, my multipurpose transformer that you have probably seen in a lot of my videos because this thing is super freaking useful. Anyways, both the things are turned on. 
And let's put the uh, tool at free to have the maximum sensitivity, sensitivity for uh, uh, low voltages. And it's already picking up something because uh, this thing is like uh, electroscope style in sensitivity. Anyways, let's connect the uh, cold probe on this terminal here. That is the common of the low voltage side. Let's touch the uh, hot probe on the uh, 6.3 volts output and you see here that uh, the phase is reversed it means that uh, this winding here has uh, this uh, 6.3 volts output in opposite phase of mains if i you can see it but i'm doing it if i reverse the polarity of the transformer from the primary and touch it here you can see now the phase is correct and the output of the 6.3 volts is in phase with the uh, phase of mains you can test also higher voltages we have here the 115 volts and now it's in phase again because I wound this transformer with uh, these two secondaries in phase starting with zero volts here and zero volts here and it's in phase and if I again switch the plug of the transformer now it's opposite and you can guess the uh, phasing of a transformer ok now we have the same transformer of before but cascaded out of my mini DIY Variac this mini DIY Variac that I made some time ago is a nice project in my opinion with a rewound transformer made as auto transformer and even more and you can see this project in this video here Anyways, now the phasing of the two transformers is completely unknown because I hooked them up in a random way without respecting anything. So we have not one but two transformers. Okay, let's put our tool that is put at like 50 volts, 15, 50 volts of threshold voltage. Let's put the cold probe on the uh, theoretical zero volts output of the high voltage side of this transformer and the hot probe on the 115 volts output and now you can see that by chance we hooked them up we hooked this transformer up in a way that the 115 volts output of this transformer is now in phase with the phase of mains because this tool is phased with mains and you can see that if i reduce the variac at some point because of the 50 volts threshold it doesn't turn on the LEDs anymore yeah okay now let's try with something a bit more serious uh, to say something nice anyways uh, the MOT is under my variac that is put at a middle voltage because I don't want to drive the MOT at maximum voltage because it goes also under stress anyways let's take uh, the plug of my Variac and let's put it here that was close okay let's try again we have our variac plug that we are gonna put here okay the tool is on variac at middle and now i'm not gonna touch the output of the mot and also there's an earth connection on the iron of the mot because i don't want to stress the insulation of this small transformer because yeah it could withstand like one kilovolt two kilovolts but this is even higher anyways let's turn on the mot and you can see that by chance in this case we connected 
the primary of the mod uh, in a way that the output, the high voltage output of the mod is in opposite phase of mains. If I switch, swap, turn the plug of the mod out of the variac, now it's in phase, the output, the high voltage output of the mod that I don't touch because they say it's a bit dangerous. The high voltage output of the mod is now in phase with mains. Okay, now something a bit more complicated. We have uh, a staccato controller on the primary of the mod. Uh, the staccato controller uses a relay that drives the primary of the mod. We have our tool on the output. Let's turn on the staccato controller. And the mod throw the variac. And you see that uh, it respects uh, some sort of phase uh, on the first uh, positive half wave, so it's correct. There's a bit of noise or of ringing on the secondary of the mod, probably, that turns on this LED. And the, uh, other L the last LED doesn't turn on because that really interrupts the circuit before making the uh, other, the subsequent positive half wave. If I switch the phase of the staccato controller, okay, now it interrupts the, uh, the this positive half wave midway. In fact, it turns on only two LEDs instead of three, and the rest is off. If I Turn it off, wait a bit, and turn it no, and turn it again on. You can see that now with the phase reversed of the staccato controller, it's wrong because it turns on at midway of the uh, positive half wave, it makes the negative half wave and another bit of another positive half wave. So it makes just a hump of negative half wave that is not okay for like a vacuum tube Tesla coil. If I put it again correctly, okay, now it's in sync because of the 25 Hz with just the, uh, the subsequent half wave. It's a bit complicated. In fact, I wasn't sure to show you. Okay, let's try to turn it off for a bit. Let's put it out of sync. And again, no. Okay. And now it's correct because it makes the positive half wave here. It turns on the primer of the mod a bit before. Uh, three LEDs are turning on. And uh, you don't have to mind this a bit no this bit of noise here, but uh, this is the idea. And uh, it turns off the relay here, and it turns it on here. Okay, now I made a crude uh, voltage stepper, voltage doubler, kind of the same circuit of a micro oven, but that generates positive instead of negative. Uh, we have the uh, we are using the uh, 72 volts output of this transformer, 72 volts AC that will be uh, 200 volts peak on the tool on the pros on the hot probe. Uh, the tool is put at 50 volts of threshold voltage for mains level purposes. Let's turn on the voltage stepper. And now you can see that the majority of LEDs are turned on because during the time the voltage is mostly positive. There's just one LED that is turned off. You can also see the, uh, some LEDs that are halfway turned on because this thing is kind to some level sensitive to the uh, level of voltage and it also shows it. Anyways, uh, this LED turned off means that the uh, positive amp is not in phase with mains. The positive amp is here. And if you want to, uh, to put it in phase with mains, you just need to unplug the transformer, reverse the plug, plug it again. You saw that the capacitor still uh, 
provided some voltage on the circuit and now the uh, positive amp of the voltage stepper is in phase with mains and in this case two LEDs are turned off during the zero volts time. So this is the schematic, the circuit uses just two simple chips a CD4017 for the LEDs and the scanning and a 555 that drives the CD4017 and makes it scan and the 555 switches at a frequency of like 225 Hz that is faster than mains and allows the LEDs to show a full wave and also a bit more of a full wave a bit more of just 1 Hz and it works like this. There's this front end here. The hot probe has a 10 mega ohms 3 watts resistor, a special kind uh, to limit the current and voltage on the front end. And this resistor can be found across like the power supply of CRT TVs. It's a special kind and it's used to discharge the static from the screen and uh, save the power supply, the transformer, etc. And there are also these resistors here that make a voltage divider on the input and allow just uh, 1.2, 1.4 volts on the base of this transistor to turn on the Darlington and uh, it makes a threshold voltage of 500 volts with this resistor, 50 volts with this one and when put at free without a resistor uh, on the input you just need like 4, 6 volts uh, for turning on the Darlington array and turn on the LEDs but uh, the LEDs will turn on with the polarity of the AC that you put on the hot probe. Anyways, uh, the CD4017 is also resetted by this circuit here. This circuit here uh, is connected to the secondary of this small transformer that powers the circuit also. And this circuit, this system is a zero volts crossing detector, some sort of this. And uh, it triggers when there's, a, um, the, when there's the start of a negative half wave out of this node here. And it makes a reset pulse on the CD4017 through this capacitor, diode and resistor that make just a pulse and not a square wave. But because there's this diode here, this diode allows the reset only when Q9 is high. Because when one of these LEDs is turned on and Q9 is low, this diode shorts to ground this node here and doesn't allow the reset. So the reset will happen at 25 Hz, not 50 in my case. So. Uh, for uh, the US it will be 30 Hz instead of 60, but you know, anyways. And there's also this other diode here and resistor that keep the 555 in some sort of reset state. Why? Because if the 555 is free running without a rule, uh, it will not be in sync with mains. So one of the LEDs will flicker uh, toward the start or end of the half wave etc so it will flicker more so I put uh, this system with this diode and resistor that uh, charges this capacitor and keep the 555 in reset when Q9 is high and that's basically it anyways uh, thanks for having watched my video and bye